So Fallout came out, and I think a lot of people were surprised with how good it actually was. I know that some people didn't like it, but by and large, it seems to be getting a lot of praise, both from the fans of the games as well as normies. And now we're finding out why. The actors on the show have made some incendiary comments that are going super viral. But exactly what did they say that's thrown everyone into a tizzy? Join me, dear viewer, as I dive back into the world of Fallout to explore the wasteland. So one thing I've been harping on pretty much ever since I started my channel was respect. But if I win, I take the cash and I take the respect. Respect. <laughs> <laughs> to some people, that's more important. One of the things Hollywood has lost during the dark age of cinema is respect for its audiences. With the rise of social media, we got unfettered access into the lives of actors and actresses, and well, not all of it was good. We saw just how much disdain some of these actors, writers, producers, and directors had for the audience. But ever since Tom Cruise came out to thank the audience for watching Top Gun Maverick, everything changed. So I hope you enjoy. We've made it for you. It's exactly these sorts of gestures that, in my opinion, really show respect and deference to the audience who is ultimately going to consume this entertainment. I think this actually represented a major turning point in the course of Hollywood. In the two years since Tom Cruise made Top Gun Maverick, Hollywood's been served a large helping of humble pie. 2023 saw some of the biggest movie flops in history. But it seems as if the tide is turning and we're seeing more and more actors and actresses approaching life and work with a bit of humility. And that includes the cast of the Fallout TV series. The star of the show, Ella Purnell, who plays the main character of Lucy McLean, has come out with a few comments that seem to rub fans in exactly the right way. <laughs> No, not that way. Get your head out of the gutter. No, I'm talking about this clip. They told me, us maybe, that we didn't have to play the games, but we could if we wanted to. Mm -hmm. um, I, I did want to play them because I really wanted to um, get everything I could out of this moment. You know, I wanted to obviously do justice to the source material. You notice how these actors are approaching the situation with humility? You can see their genuine show of respect to the fans of the games. Aaron Moten admitted, honestly, that he didn't play the games, but he watched a lot of YouTube and Twitch streams of fans. Ella Purnell said that she did play the games, which is absolutely cool as hell and makes nerds, including myself, absolutely swoon for a chick like her. Of all the things I've seen over the past week about the production of the show, one thing absolutely stood out clearly. It seems to me that everyone involved in the production of this show took great care not to fuck something up that a lot of fans had invested in. Fallout's been around since 1997 and has spawned nearly a dozen games and hundreds and hundreds of mods, including Fallout London that's currently in development. So it has a very large and very devoted fan base. I only got into it in 2007 when a co-worker recommended Fallout 3, and I became obsessed with it. I wanted to get everything I could out of the world of Fallout. So I feel really good about the actors and producers of the show coming out and saying, Hey, we did this for you. People, not just fans, really appreciate stuff like that. It actually makes me think about other adaptations, actors who cared, and there's very few that I can think of. One that comes to mind right off the bat is Henry Cavill. He read the books, played the games, listened to the fans, all so that he could deliver as best an experience as he could. But the show's producers overwrote his efforts and look where the Witcher series wound up. Fuck. And now we're getting news that Henry Cavill is pissed that producers are attempting to do the same thing to the Warhammer 40k franchise. Why is it that modern Hollywood hates its fans so much? I really have no idea because they seem to be losing a shit ton of money with this approach. Just look at the Marvel movies over the past four years. Or Amazon's very own Rings of Power. You have to have respect for the source material because it has legions of fans. And at the end of the day, you're doing it for them. So wouldn't you want to please them? After all, a basic rule of finance is to give the customer what they want. Otherwise, they won't come back for more and you'll go out of business. 
Ella Purnell's comments about respecting the source material really resonated with me. And it means that I'm much more likely to come back for more, which Amazon just announced a second season of the show. Maybe one of these days, Hollywood might finally learn its lesson that they are there to serve the fans and the audience because without them, there would be no film industry in the first place. But what do you guys think about all this? Do you like it when actors like Ella Purnell and Henry Cavill respect the source material? Please do let me know down below in the comments. And as always, hit that like button, ring that notification bell, and smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.